हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ एमएससी मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज लिबेक पॉइंट एंड लिबेक सेट ऑफ अ फंक्शन एंड मोर ओवर वी विल डू एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थ्योरम रिलेटेड टू दिस सो वी फर्स्ट डू द डेफिनेशन लेट एफ बी एन इंटीग्रेबल फंक्शन ऑन इंटरवल ए बी then a point x in ab it said to be lebesgue point of f if limit h approaching to 0 1 by h integral x to x plus h mod ft minus fx dt integral is 0 If the point x satisfies this condition, then we say that x is Lebesgue point of this function f. And if we collect set of all Lebesgue points of f, then this set is called Lebesgue set of the function. So here are the two definitions. so on the basis of these two definitions we will do a theorem which states that if f is a lebesgue point of the function f then this new function capital fx which is function of x and is defined as a to x integral of ft dt this integral exists because f is integrable function plus fa a new function of x then this is also differentiable at x and one more condition is true that its derivative f dash x is equal to small f x so let's start with the proof of this theorem now to prove a function to be differentiable we have to prove that the limit fx plus h minus fx upon h limit exists we want to basically prove this thing that this limit exists so we will consider and we want to prove that this limit is equal to fx so to start with we will start with this term minus fx now what is the value of fx plus h now as we know that fx is a to x so fx plus h will be a to x plus h ft dt minus a to x ft dt h is divided in both the terms and minus is fx so in this integral the first is from a to x plus h and the second is from a to x so if we in subtract the integral from a to a plus x with this integral from a to x we will be left with the integral from see this is x to x plus h ft dt now i can write this fx as 1 by h into h fx i think no problem in that so i'll take 1 by h common and inside i can write this fx as x2 x plus h fx dt with respect to t this x will be constant now club the terms what we we'll get 1 by h integral x to x plus h because the limits are same modulus ft minus fx dt so as we all know the modulus of an integral is less than equal to integral of the modulus so this is x to x plus h mod inside ft minus fx dt and as we are given that x is lebesgue point of f it means this limit is zero so we have reached at this limit this term and as 
h approaches to 0 on both sides. So we see that this term approaches to 0. Why? Because x is Lebesgue point. Right? So if this thing approaches to 0, it means this thing approaches to 0. So this means that limit h approaching to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h is equal to fx. So what is this? This thing is derivative of capital F at point x. It means this thing is equal to small fx. So that means our f capital F given in the statement is differentiable at x and its derivative is equal to small fx. So hence we have proved it. Thank you.